Write a program to check if a given number is an Armstrong number. An Armstrong number is an integer such that the sum of the cubes of its digits is equal to the number itself. For example, let us take the number as 371. Now, the sum of the cubes of its digits, that is 3 cube plus 7 cube plus 1 cube which will be equal to 3 cube is 27 plus 7 cube 344 plus 1 cube is 1. So if we add all this, we will again get the number 371. So the sum of the cubes of a digits is equal to the number itself. So now 371 is an Armstrong number. Now let us look at the program for checking if a given number is an Armstrong number. Here is the program. We are getting the input from the user. That is the number which we are going to check if it is an Armstrong number or not. The number which is got from the user is assigned to the temporary variable n and the sum is initialized to the value 0 and the remainder is got in this variable. In this while loop, the condition is checked whether the number is greater than 0. In such a case, the following operations will be performed. When the number is divided by 10, the remainder is found which will give the last digit of the number. Sum is equal to sum plus int math dot power of remainder comma 3. This statement gives the result for remainder to the power 3. The method math dot power will give the result for remainder to the power 3. The result is added to the value of sum and now the number is divided by 10 so the quotient will be stored in the variable num. Next after execution of this while loop we are checking if the sum value is equal to the value stored in the temporary variable n. If it is equal then the number is an Armstrong number else it is not an Armstrong number. That is within this while loop we are separating each digit from the number and we are finding the cube of each digit and the sum of the cubes of each digit is stored in the variable sum. Now if that value is equal to the temporary variable, it means that the sum of the cubes of the digits of the number is equal to the number itself. So that is an Armstrong number. Now let us check the output of this program. Let us first compile the program that is Java C Armstrong dot Java. Now the program has been compiled. If we run the program that is Java Armstrong, the user is asked to enter the number. We know that 371 is an Armstrong number. The result of our program is also 371 is an Armstrong number. So this program is correct. Now let us check for another number which is not an Armstrong number. Let us say 400. The result is 400 is not an Armstrong number. Now let us look at the logic of this program. The number given by the user is 371. Now in the first iteration of the while loop, we have to check the condition if the number 371 is greater than 0. This condition is true and the loop will execute. Within this loop, the remainder is found when the number 371 is divided by 10. The remainder will be 1. When 371 is divided by 10, 10 is 3 times 30 and 10 is 7 times 70. Now the remainder is 1. So as a result of this division, the remainder is 1 and then the statement sum is equal to sum plus int math dot power of reminder comma 3 will be executed. Here the value of sum which is initialized to 0 will be added with 
math dot power of r comma three will perform the operation r into r into r. So that is zero plus one cube, which is one. And next, number is equal to number divided by ten. That is. The given number is three seventy one, which is when divided by ten, we will get the result as thirty seven. That is, the quotient of this division is thirty seven. In the next iteration, the value of number is checked if it is greater than zero. From the previous iteration, the value of number is thirty seven, which is greater than zero, so the condition is true. Now, in this loop, we have to find the remainder. When thirty-seven is divided by ten, so we will get the result as seven for this. And the next step is sum is equal to sum plus integer of math dot power of r comma three. That is r cube. So that will be equal to the value of sum from the previous iteration is one. So one plus r cube is seven cube. The value for seven cube is three hundred and forty three. So the result will be three hundred and forty four, and then the number will be divided by ten. Here the result will be thirty seven divided by ten will be equal to three. And in the next iteration, we will check the condition whether the value of num that is from the previous iteration three is greater than zero. This condition is true, and the loop will be executed. We are finding the remainder when three is divided by ten, which will again be three. And in the next step, the value of sum will be sum plus math dot power of r comma three, that is r cube. The value of sum from the previous iteration is three hundred and forty-four plus r cube, that is three cube. Will give us the result three hundred and forty four plus twenty seven, which is equal to three hundred and seventy one. In the next step, the number is divided by ten. That is, here the number is three, which when divided by ten will give the result as zero. So in the next iteration, when checked in the while condition, the value of number which is zero. Is not greater than zero, so the condition is not satisfied, and the loop will not be executed. It will terminate here. Now, at the end of this loop, we have to check the condition if the value that is stored in the temporary variable is equal to the value that is stored in sum. Now, the initial number that was given by the user is three seventy one, which is equal to the value of the sum. From this iteration, so these two values are equal, and hence this loop will be executed, where the number three seventy one is an Armstrong number will be printed in the output. So this is the logic of this program.